the the biggest thing was the strength and the size of it um in particular um you know, it made landfall very very close to where hurricane charlie did back in 2004 um but charlie uh the uh 50 knot winds were only about 35 miles uh in radius at where hurricane ian was 65 miles so it was like twice as big so much wider swath of wind so, and that that's both like a wider swath of wind damage but even more importantly when you have a larger storm that's going to push more water ashore um, so you get a lot more storm surge with a bigger storm like that you know hurricanes in the eye there's virtually no winds and then the wind increases to the eye wall and then it decreases again out from there so there'll be like a donut around the center that's got these strongest winds and, and the kind of the radius of that donut was 65 miles in this case as opposed to 35 for charlie this hurricane was 155 miles per hour um in the eye wall yeah yeah that, that'd be kind of the high end of an f2 tornado so tornadoes are much smaller but spin much faster uh yeah so tornadoes get their energy from differences in wind speed from the surface to a couple miles up in the atmosphere. So you get this kind of, you know, we call it wind shear, where there's a different speed at these different levels. You know, a common way of thinking about it is like, if you lay your pencil flat and spin it, that's kind of what is happening with that wind shear. And then a thunderstorm comes around and rotates that spinning to be from flat to vertical. And so that's when the tornado spins up. And so hurricanes have a lot of really strong winds at upper levels, but because the ground has a lot of friction with it, with trees and buildings and so forth, that creates that wind shear. And of course, there's a lot of thunderstorms inside of uh, hurricanes. So hurricanes are a favorable place to get tornadoes. Um, I know there was a lot of tornado risk with uh, Ian. I haven't gone back to look to see how many actually occur. That's one of the like really underappreciated threats from, from hurricanes, uh, that and the rainfall. Rain, rainfall is like the biggest thing that everyone talks about after a storm, but they never think about it before the storm comes through.